guys welcome back to my channel i pamper myself on a weekly basis and today i'm gonna take you through my self-care routine so without further ado let's get started so first off i'm gonna start by applying a hair mask usually i end up putting this really nice coconut hair oil usually i use parachute but i went to the indian store over here and i couldn't really find it there's there's a knockoff called delight but yeah, basically I use this. Either I would do that or I would apply a hair mask. So this one is called Color Protecting Pre-Shampoo Treatment. It's by Voir. So I'm gonna try this out today. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'll rub some of the product in my palm and I'll brush it through my hair with my fingers just to make sure that the product is applied to all the hair strands evenly. So while I let the hair mask sit in my hair for maybe 10 to 15 minutes, I'm just gonna end up tweezing my eyebrows. I use this tweezer from Lancome. I've been using this for the past four to five years. The only thing is that when I was in India, I would get my eyebrows threaded, but after moving here, I've just been tweezing them every week. So I just tweeze the extra hair, which is growing on the top, the bottom, and the middle. Moving on to my upper lips, I usually end up using a waxing kit and the one that I'm using right now is by Veet and it's a full body kit so usually the strips in this kit are really long, they're like that, but I usually end up cutting tiny little strips like this to fit my upper lip area. I rub the strips between my palms so that the wax gets a little warm and when it comes to pulling it off, I pull it in the opposite direction of which my hair is growing. So usually this wax ends up making my skin feel a little sticky and it does not wash off with water or soap. So I usually end up using some oil. So I'm just gonna pour some of it in my palm and rub it in. So I do have a few more minutes before I have to go and wash my hair. So in the meanwhile, I'm just gonna end up doing my nails. So first I'll start off by removing my nail polish that I'd applied last week. Now I'll take a cuticle remover and remove all the dead skin cells around my nails. Very lightly, I will trim the edges so that I can maintain the shape of my nails. Lastly, I'll apply some cuticle oil to make the skin around my nails really soft and then I will take the back of the filer to push the skin back so that my nail can grow faster. So I've been using an epilator for the past four to five years and honestly it does sound very painful because it's like four to five tweezers in a row and it's machine operated so basically it's pulling your hair as soon as it hits your skin and it was a little painful but you can get used to this and I've been doing this for so many years now that I'm very much immune to the pain. At first, I will rinse off all the product that was in my hair. I absolutely love this shampoo. This is hands down the best one for me and when it comes to my hair type. So when I was living in India and the weather was very humid and my hair used to become very frizzy and this shampoo literally controlled everything. And even over here in Canada, when my hair is really dry because of the dryness in the air here, this shampoo really hydrates it. So honestly, this is hands down my favorite shampoo of all time. Moving on to the conditioner, I absolutely love this one. It leaves my hair so nice and smooth. I've been using it for the longest time ever. So the trick that I use to make sure that the conditioner is in my hair for the longest time, I put my hair up in a clip so the conditioner can work its magic and in the meanwhile, I pour the body wash on a loofah and exfoliate my body with that. Once I'm done with everything, I rinse off all the conditioner from my hair and then put all my hair up in a head wrap. 
Okay, so now I'm done taking a shower, washed my hair, and I've put it up in a head wrap so that all the excess water gets absorbed in it before I blow dry my hair. So prior to that, I'm just going to work on my face. In order to exfoliate my face, I've been using the Spin Care System from Dewall. I usually use the exfoliating brush twice a week and I've been using this for the past three weeks now. And this machine has two switches, so one is to turn it off and one is to increase or decrease the speed. And it also comes with four other heads. So the one that I use is the exfoliating brush, but you can also use the body brush the cleansing brush, the pumice applicator, and the crude polish accessory. So I'm just going to apply some water on it and put on some facial cleanser and exfoliate my face. Okay, so I've just rinsed my face, it's nice and clean, and now I'm going to steam it. So I don't really have a steamer, I'm going to buy one soon. I had a steamer in India, but I couldn't bring it here because of the difference in the voltage and the plug. So basically I've been using this hack um, for the past 6 months now, and I just take a pot of water and put it on the stove. And once the water starts boiling, I basically put my head on top of that and I cover it with a towel. And basically that helps me steam my face. So I'm just going to do that right now. So after I'm done with my steam, I know that all the pores on my face have opened up. And this is when I choose to apply a face mask. I have this facial roller that I got from Mini So when I was in India. This ensures that I have good amount of blood circulation throughout my face and I usually roll this on my cheeks, my jawline, my forehead and the bridge of my nose. While I sit around with the sheet mask on my face, I will make sure that I'm painting my nails and I usually leave this towards the end of the process so that I don't have to touch anything anymore. Once that dries off, I apply this Complex 15 face cream all over my face. Okay, so now I'm going to remove my hair from the head wrap. Before I blow dry my hair, I apply this Moroccan treatment all over my hair and it smells so good and it leaves my hair so soft and shiny. I keep my blow dryer on a medium to cool setting and basically I just blast dry it. I don't use any round brushes to round off my edges. I just use a flat brush to comb my hair out in the middle of the process. Once my hair is completely dry, I run a straightener through my hair very roughly. Honestly, this is it. This is basically what I do every Sunday and my hair stays straight throughout the week. I wash it once every five days as, or as long as I can um, go without washing it. But yeah, this is why I straighten it so that the entire week my hair stays straight. And since I have short hair, I don't like to leave it natural. It's not that frizzy or curly or anything, but it, like all these ends just like wave in and out and it looks very weird because since um, all my ends are right around my face, it just doesn't look good. But yeah, this is why I straighten it. I literally have nowhere to go, but I just do this so that it stays good throughout the week. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and please hit the subscribe button. I have gone through my analytics. 
and it shows that majority honestly like 90 percent of the people who watch my videos have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button it's free of cost it will mean a lot to me so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and stay tuned for more videos just like this and i'll be back very soon bye